Top 10 Animes That Will Put You in Depression We collected some of our favorite top anime about depression and anxiety, as well as the top animes for depression that are fun and warm and we love re-watching when we need a good laugh and comforting anime hug. There is certainly no getting around it. Sometimes an anime is put out for no other reason than to make you cry and feel as depressed as humanly possible. One of the great things about anime is that it is capable of making us feel such incredible amounts of emotion, whether that be happiness or sadness. For this list, we want to focus on the latter though, the series that punch us in the gut and make us feel like our hearts have been ripped out of our chests. In fact, sometimes we get stuck in perpetual darkness and have to fight our way through. In other words, depression's a bitch. Anime, being as diverse as it is, has tackled the topic of depression and overall mental health quite a few times. But which anime really brings these topics back close to home? Here are 10 examples of series that can make us feel depressed enough to cry like a child with a skinned knee. Number 1. What a moat. If we're talking about social anxiety, the need to fit in, feelings of inadequacy and loneliness, then what a moat is a pretty strong candidate. It follows a teenage girl who's just trying to be popular, make friends, get a boyfriend, typical teenage business. However, this show isn't as optimistic as most slice-of-life shows usually are. Watermoat is almost uncomfortable to watch as it presents this awkward character grasping at straws very realistically, which is why I do think it's important to watch even when it feels like a cringe compilation. Number 2. A Silent Voice Now this movie tackles quite a few topics, with the main male lead being ostracized for bullying a deaf girl. He's left all alone now being the target of similar bullying. It hits him pretty hard to the point of even contemplating ending it all, but he chooses to make amends and find that girl he belittled long ago. We also get to see her side of the story, the story of a person who's different but keeps trying to fit in with everyone. A silent voice is just a masterpiece, so even though it tackles quite a few topics, I still think it does all of them justice. Number 3. Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei Now this series is a bit different from the rest on this list. It's actually a comedy and a very morbid one. Most of the people who watch the series would immediately associate the show with depression, as one of the main characters literally carries a rope around his neck at the slightest inconvenience. However, it's important to note that the show doesn't make fun of these feelings, but rather it presents an easier path to talk about them and understand them. The suicidal teacher is only one of the many problem-ridden characters in the anime, so surely you'll find some takeaway messages to apply in your own life. Number 4. Aoi Bangaku Series A rather short series that actually contains six different stories, each set in their own universe independent from each other. They're also adaptations from highly rated Japanese literature, so the storytelling quality is extremely high. The first story, No Longer Human, suits this list the best as it talks about a guy crushed under his own ego and his life in complete social isolation. His coping mechanisms weren't the safest, let's just put it that way. And by the end of the arc, you feel like you truly understand this person. The other five stories also touch on mental health and similar struggles, but No Longer Human definitely hits the nail the hardest. Number 5. Soul Eater Soul Eater is one of our all-time favorite shows. I turn to the show when I'm feeling down and need some cheering up, or when I'm bored and need some quality entertainment. We love the story, the characters, and the art of the show is just amazing. It's humorous but deep, and has many characters that are dealing with some serious mental health issues. One of my favorite characters in Soul Eater is Krona. They call Krona a boy because in English, they don't have a neutral gender as they have in Japanese. Although we love that Krona is originally gender neutral, because this helps us concentrate even more on the important personality and mental issues this character deals with. The Soul Eater is a short anime series. It has one season with 51 episodes, but I think it's a series that both boys and girls will enjoy and binge watch. But before we continue with top 10 animes that will put you in depression, 
subscribe to our channel Curious Atmosphere so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Number 6. My Ordinary Life This is the perfect anime series to watch if you're bored because it will make you appreciate life's everyday moments and will help you find the magic in them. It teaches you, with its easygoing humor, that you shouldn't take life too seriously. Find a way to laugh at yourself and your mistakes because everyone makes them. My Ordinary Life has six main high-energy characters that will inspire you to live every day with positive thinking and laugh about things that you may have found frustrating or felt embarrassed about. This is a fun, sweet and short ride with one season and 26 episodes. Number 7. Naruto With 220 episodes, this show requires some commitment. It's one of the longest-running and most beloved anime series. It's packed with action and good storylines. The characters are well-crafted and often deal with their own demons. Naruto is an incredibly entertaining anime that teaches us that we should never give up and to fight for our dreams. Naruto is also the most watched anime after Dragon Ball Z and it's loved both by men and women. Other than action and many soul-touching moments, Naruto also has the kind of anime music that will make your heart pound stronger. Number 8. Plastic Memories In the world of plastic memories, mankind lives with human-like androids called Giftia. The most advanced models are similar in appearance to humans, with personalities, emotions, and options. However, Giftia have a lifespan of about 9 years before they degrade and sometimes even become extremely violent. Plastic Memories follows Tsukasa, a guy who works with terminal services and collects Giftia that are nearing the end of their lifespan. The show is heartbreaking in that Giftia is very much portrayed in a human fashion. People form emotional attachments to them and struggle with parting ways. It's depressing to not only watch humans grapple with losing a loved one, but also to watch the Giftia resign to their fate. Number 9. I Wanna Eat Your Pancreas I Wanna Eat Your Pancreas is a sad anime that might sound like an ecchi or a zombie horror anime by the name but it's a romantic drama that succeeds in making you cry bucket loads. One day, I, a high schooler, found a paperback in the hospital. The Disease Coexistence Journal was its title. It was a diary that my classmate, Sakura Yamauchi, had written in secret. Inside it was written that due to her pancreatic disease, her days were numbered, and thus I coincidentally went from just a classmate to a secret knowing classmate. It was as if I were being drawn to her, who was my polar opposite. However, the world presented the girl that was already suffering from an illness with an equally cruel reality. Based on an award-winning light novel by Yoru Sumino, I Wanna Eat Your Pancreas is one of my favorite sad anime. The feelings it made me feel and the way it wrenches my heart really got to me. From the start, we know the fate of our character Sakura won't end well and we shouldn't get attached but somehow, we end up still getting attached to her. Number 10. Chrono Crusade Chrono Crusade is a great sad anime series with characters that are funny, deep, and intriguing. America in the Roaring Twenties, on the surface it's a positive, peaceful time after the violence of the Great War, but lurking in the shadows is a dark element ready to snatch that peace away. Sister Rosette Christopher an exorcist working as a part of the Magdala Order, has a duty to fight the demons which appear and cause destruction. But along with her companion Chrono, she usually ends up causing more destruction than the demons themselves. On one particular mission, they meet a young girl with a beautiful voice named Asmaria, who is being targeted by her own stepfather. As Rosette and Chrono work to save her, more is revealed about the relationship between them. There is more to these two than meets the eye. Rosette is also looking for her brother, who was taken from her by a demon. Conclusion Don't feel silly for feeling the end of an anime depression. Stories matter. They provide the best means of learning. It wasn't until our modern period that stories lost their place as the main way of teaching values, skills, and perspectives. And that move has really hurt our ability to learn. Even stories that focus on entertainment can offer insight or resonance. When it comes to depression, even mild depression, following a good anime, 
You have to act based on what we think is worthy. Subscribe to our channel, Curious Atmosphere, so that you don't miss out on any future updates. If you have more about it, please feel free to share them with us. Share them in the comments below and wait for our interesting topics coming soon. If you think they deserve to be on this list, share your opinion in the comments below.